What is going on guys, Tis Waffle here and welcome back to Slime Rancher. Now last time we left off we actually beat the game and I promised you guys I'd come back and play more Slime Rancher but with mods and here we are finally almost a year later <laughs> but it's better late than never right but either way today's episode is also a pilot episode where we're going to be testing out this series and seeing whether or not we should continue it here on the channel so if you guys like what you see today and want to see more of it here on the channel be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below or by leaving a positive comment that way i'm able to see if a lot of you guys like this pilot episode and want to see it turn into a full-on series but anyways because this is a modded series let's just go through the mod list real quick and i'll show you guys all the mods i currently have installed right now now this list isn't permanent if you guys want me to install any new mods or maybe even uninstall any mods be sure to let me know in those comments down below i'm very open to any suggestions you guys may have but this is like the 17 or so mods i have installed based off of some of you guys suggestions you gave me Anyways, without any further ado, let's jump into a new game here. Uh, game name. Hmm. Now, I do believe if we go back, if I load here, yeah, our other save was called Slimy Valley Ranch. We had almost half a million coins, made 96 discoveries, and it was uh, 102 days long, so that's pretty interesting there. But uh, let's just start a new game over here. So that was called, like, Slimy Valley Ranch. What are we going to call this one? Are we going to call it something <laughs> equally as stupid? <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. I don't know. Maybe because it's modded and, and going along with the whole Hidden Valley Ranch meme there maybe we could do another dressing name over here maybe like a uh, thousand slime dressing there we kind of like <laughs> thousand island dressing or something stupid but it's thousand slime dressing it's kind of going along with the whole hidden valley ranch meme that we had on the other saves so thousand slime dressing i guess we could have that for this save and now we could choose the save icon i think we had the regular pink one beforehand so let's see what other uh oh man i don't, I don't think any modded oh man you know what you should do the uh, the the honey slime right here, just because it kind of looks like syrup, right? So let's just do that. Let's, let's select the honey slime for this one. Adventure, casual rush. Oh yeah, I guess we'll just be on adventure mode. I don't know if we'll do a rush. Maybe we could do a separate series for that. Let's just do adventure mode right here. Live the life of a slime rancher and explore the wonders of the far, far range at your own pace. All right, well, let's just confirm and let's jump in to our very first modded series of Slime Rancher. 1,000 light years away from Earth on a planet known as the Far, Far Range. Beatrix LeBeau begins her first day as a slime rancher. Yeah, I forgot they had this like whole backstory like intro or what. Oh, oh, there you go. Okay, we just jump in right there, okay. <laughs> let's get moving. Okay, yeah, let's just do this, just to show the game that we know how to move around, right? We already have pink slimes over here, so let's go pick them up, hop to it, space bar, there you go, to jump and hold shift to sprint. There you go. Hey, look at that. Pink slime just ate a chicken right there, give me that plort. How do you, there we go. <laughs> Did the wrong button at first. <laughs> yeah, you can tell it's been almost a year since we played, right? There you go. Picking up a pink slime for the very first time. Hey, look at that. You vacked up a slime. All right, let's go get the other one over here. I saw another one over here. Let's go grab this guy. There you go. Yep, now we have two of these guys. And we have some carrots over here, too. And a third one. Let me grab these. So now we're going to have three of these slimes here. And yep, they want me to put these slimes over here in this corral. So let's just lip, lip, lip. And there you go. Cool. And I guess we could feed them real quick, too. There you go. There are some carrots for you guys. Yeah, the pink slimes, they'll just eat anything. So we just give them whatever. And they gave us some plorts. Cool. So let's grab those plorts. And I guess I could actually do some demonstrations of some of the mods real quick if we find some more slime. Oh, man, another. Oh, yep, yeah, another one right there. Cool. Uh, there you go. Grab that plort. But yeah, if, if we have any extra pink slimes, I think. Oh, and by the way, is this it? I think this is the shop, right? Yeah, item shop. Yeah, here we go. For some reason, I could just buy a singularity plort just right off the bat. It costs 2,000 coins, though. We don't have that many. We only have 250. And then we could buy a pink plort if I ever want that for some strange reason. We can get that for 60. We're probably going to sell that for like single digits on the port market real quick, so that's kind of a scam. <laughs> and of course, I could buy a pink slime for 120 if I wanted one, but I don't want to do that. Carrot, we could buy one carrot for 40. So, you know, you can kind of see the idea of here uh, of buying some stuff if we really need them. But I believe if we go over here to the port market, I think this is new right here from one of the mods. Yeah, okay, so this is able to show you the prices of all these different mod, like, plorts and stuff like that. So, yeah, so Singularity plorts. Yeah, so if I have any of those, I can sell them for 264. Amethyst plort, uh, sell those for 642. Emerald plort, 417. Sapphire plort, 188. Diamond plort, 866. And uh, pink slimes down here. Like, this is actual slimes. Like, if I wanted to sell a pink slime, I can get 42. So, if I just put uh, this guy in here. Lip. There you go, I just got 42 coins right there, so... Yeah, you can see I could sell any type of, like, modded plort over here, or actual literal slimes if I felt like it, right? So, that's pretty cool. I can sell a gold slime, which, by the way, I'm able to suction up now, remember that? <laughs> I can I can sell a gold slime for 2,773, or a lucky slime for 7,773, which... Hey, there's that 777 number. I wonder if it's always going to have 777 at the beginning of it, right? 
and then a Quicksilver Slimes. It's going to be tough to try and get those guys, 1,700 each there. Splitter Plort for 76, or a Tar Plort for 240 down there. Ooh. All right, well, you guys can kind of see the uh, the mods kind of taking place over here at the Plort Market, so that's pretty interesting there, and I do believe... Oh, man, no, never mind. We only, we get 10 for the uh, the Pink Plorts. There, you'll get a little bit of money out of that, right? So, yep, there you go. Cool. Tasty food acquired. Food like fruits, veggies, or chickens are used to feed slimes. Try shooting food at a pink slime. They'll eat anything. Yeah, we just did that. I don't know why that's still on the screen. I guess we can go find some more food for them, but I don't think there's anything else around here. Yeah, look at them. They're so happy. They got the big open mouths. I do believe that means they have the, the highest, like, happiness rating or whatever, but here we are over here. Dry reef. Yep, here we go. We got some carrots. Let's grab these carrots, and I do believe... You know what? Let's actually grab some of these pink slimes, too. Let's grab some of these guys and sell them and actually get some money out of them, right? Let's grab all this. Might as well get some uh, pogo fruit right there, too. I don't know how many I'm able to carry right off the bat. Probably like 15. No, 20. Probably 20 right off the bat. Ooh. Just heard a noise right there. I don't know if... Uh, is there uh oh, oh, hold on. Yeah, we have a treasure pod right there. I don't know if there's any uh, stuff over there on that side yet. Let's grab some of the uh, pogo fruit right here. Just so it stops yelling at me on the top right corner for <laughs> me to feed these pink slimes, right? So, uh, actually, you know what? I can probably do that right now just by doing that and then giving you a pogo fruit. Hey, there you go. Okay, nice. I didn't even feed it to him. I just shot it. <laughs> he didn't even eat it. <laughs> and it gave me a green check mark on the top right. And, oh, he eat that? It's still there. Eat it. What are you doing? I don't know what he's doing. I think he's kind of glitched. <laughs> but there you go, you guys. Oh, yeah. And then, of course, we have these holograms over here. I might as well read this one real quick, just because pretty much skipped over this in the main playthrough. So let's read this, like, in episode one so we don't forget about it, right? Anyways, hello, Beatrix. The name's Hobson Twilgers, rancher, explorer, and the former owner of this here ranch you now call your own. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I was a rancher for more years than I can remember and felt that there was one last adventure left in me, so I've set off to find just that. But before I go, I'm taking one last tour around this here land I love. So keep your peepers peeled for notes like these if you want to hear what an old coot has to say every now and again. Be talking to ya. H. All right. Well, yeah, definitely want to keep reading these notes over here. Uh, even though we already read them in the first playthrough or whatever, I guess we can always read them again, right? And hey, look at that. We got a star mail from Casey. Yeah, we, we had like a whole like pen pal sort of meme going on with us like... Uh, like a thousand light years or whatever away from Earth as well as Casey who's still on Earth right now, right? So I guess we can go back. Actually, hold on. Yeah, while we're out and about, you know, let's kidnap some more slimes over here. <laughs> there you go. Grab you. Grab you over here. And of course, sell them on the port market once we actually get back. Or just straight up market. I don't think we have to call it a port market anymore because we can sell slimes on it now if we wanted to, right? So see if we can find any other slimes around here. Uh, and there's a chicken right there. You know what? Let's grab a chicken. There you go, so we can get a coop going. There you go. Or a hen hen, actually. Man, I need to get reacquainted with the names of all these things. <laughs> we have uh, plorts here, but nah, plorts aren't really worth that much money. Uh, I'd rather kidnap the actual slimes and sell them and get some money out of them, right? Oh, uh, man, we already have... We're maxed out on carrots. I can't get any more there, but I do believe... Where was it? Over here? I think over here is where you can get the, uh, the tabby slimes, right? Those are all pink. We haven't found any lucky slimes right like that yet, but I grab all those uh, poker fruit right there. Yeah, we're not seeing anything. Those are carrots right there. I think it's over here, actually, where you get the poker or the uh, tabby slimes, right? The cat slimes. Yeah, here we are. Yeah, let's grab these guys. Oh, wait. Yeah, I can't. Do Man, okay, well, eat a hen hen. Someone eat a hen hen. There we go. So we can get a tabby slime now. So there we go. Lip. And now we're full on pink slime. So hopefully we can grab. There we go. Grab these tabby slimes there. There we go. Cool. So we have a pretty cool uh, little start to our farm back home. So, or ranch back home. Yeah, we definitely want to start farming as well. But I don't know if we're actually able to do that just yet. Uh, we do have carrots and poker fruit, so we can definitely uh, get that started here in the future. But I do believe if we... Oh, man, I'm out of stamina. Yeah, I need to get used to us having, like, default stamina and default health down there, too. But let's just go back over here. Yep, you acquired some slime plort, so now I need to sell it over here. But you know what? Maybe I'll just sell actual straight-up slimes. Yep, there you go. Getting 42 for each pink slime. We already have three over here, so I don't think I need to... Uh, get any more. Maybe I'll have five, so you know what? There you go. I'll keep two, and then uh, we'll have five over here, right? So yep, yep, there you go. Cool. So any over here that are hungry? Because I've got some carrots for you guys. And that covers the basics. Alright, well, that's good that I actually remembered a pretty good amount of the basics, right? <laughs> to need to be reminded too much, right? But there you go. Get some plorts out of these guys. And of course, we could use these plorts to feed to these tabby slimes and actually get a largo out of them if we wanted to, right? 
You know what? Let's actually see. Activate this. Do we have enough money to... Yeah, we have enough money to get another corral over here. That's good. So let's actually get that going here. Put the tabby slimes over here. So we're going to have uh, five tabby slimes and five pink slimes right here. Not bad. I do believe the tabby slimes. Don't they need to eat the hen hens though, right? I don't think... We're... Oh, 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 man, they escaped. No, man, I think I have to upgrade this over here. Hold on. Yeah, I think there's that mod that... Uh, where is this on this? Can I see it here? Uh, plort protector, is that it? I think it is. Prevent slimes within the corral from eating plorts while the battery is charged. Ooh, internal garden. Which one is this one? Adds a garden to the corral. Ooh, that's even better too. I didn't even notice what, what like upgrades it added. I didn't even look at them. I just installed the mod like blindly. Miniaturizer reduces the size of all slimes, toys, and fruit that are entered the corral. That could be pretty fun too. That's uh, These are getting pretty expensive though, but this is 400 for an internal garden. Maybe we'll have that for this. Just kind of mess around and see what it's like, right? So let's get that internal garden here. What's that do? Is that going to have like a small tree where I can grow things or what happens? I don't know. Nothing happened here, I don't think, right? Here, we'll grab that back. Grab that port. Yep, there you go. Oh, hey, hen hen. Okay, you know what? Uh, put the tabby slimes back over here and get them the hen hens. Because I do believe I think they need to eat the hen hens, right? So get them some stuff so they don't escape. There you go. They're already starting to bounce all over the place. I need to get a, uh, there you go. I need to get a corral for the chickens. Or, uh, there you go. Is that enough? Are they happy here? Yeah, they're happy. I guess I'll grab their ports. Maybe we'll make a uh, Largo here in just a second. Yeah, let's get another uh, corral over here. So there you go. Make another corral right there. I don't know, maybe... Oh, jeez, they're escaping. Man, oh, I can't... I, I can't suction them up. I don't have enough room. Man. I think there's actually a mod that gives you more uh, slots down there. Instead, you just four, you could have like six or something like that, right? So... Anyways, port protector, I don't think we need that over here. Ah, oh, man, can you go inside of there? I don't, I don't want them actually escaping. I still don't know what to do with this garden over here I got. I got an upgrade for an internal garden. That's a garden to the corral. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see there, but nothing really happened here. Nothing changed here, unfortunately, so that kind of sucks. Anyways, I guess we'll get the uh, Largos over here, so I guess we'll put the Tabby Plort there. Here, I'll put those inside there, and let's get some, uh, let's get two of these pink slimes to eat these plorts here. And there you go. Actually, I think I have to manually feed him like this. There we go. Oh, no, he's eating him right now. Did he eat him? I think he did. Oh, there we go. Now he turned into a Largo. Okay, cool. And I do believe... Oh, this one needs to eat that one, too. That way we have two of these Largos in here, right? Oh, easy. Oh, oh, there we go. Look at that. So we have two tabby pink slime Largos over here. And I do believe one of the mods actually lets me suction these guys up instead of just like holding them like a big bubble i can actually suction them up which is pretty cool yeah look at that pink tabby largo i, I could actually suction them up so that's pretty cool but yeah so we combined a uh, tabby with the pink slime which means we could feed these guys anything which is good so uh th th and whenever we do feed them which i don't think we're yeah I don't, I don't think they're hungry right now but if we do feed them we'll get both the pink and the tabby uh ports so that's going to be pretty cool you guys and speaking of ports let me go grab that I guess we can sell that and get some money out of it, right? So that's pretty cool. Do we have any missions here? Range exchange offline. Oh, I guess they haven't introduced it to us yet, right? So interesting there. Uh, how much money do we need to expand out our ranch? It's been a while. Overgrowth, 1795. It feels like that was way more expensive early on in the, in the main playthrough, guys. 1700. We could do that, no problem. Just get a bunch of pink slimes and just kidnap them and sell them on the port market over here, right? So let's actually do that. Let's sell all of their ports. And I think, am I able to sell like carrots and stuff? I don't know if I'm able to sell that. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, it's not letting me sell like carrots. Any extra carrots over here, unfortunately, right? Hold on. Yeah, it's not It's not letting me do that. It'd be really good if I could though, but yeah, I, I, I guess it just makes sense to actually turn the carrots into plorts by feeding these guys. And then of course sell the plorts afterwards, right? So that should be easy. Yeah, these guys are, they're not hungry. They're not uh, smiling with a big open mouth. So they could eat right now. Which I might have to go kidnap some slimes and sell them and <laughs> maybe upgrade their corral to make sure they don't. Oh man, speaking of such, there's a billion of them that just spawned in over here. So, suction all these pink slimes up. 42 a piece. So, yeah, we're getting a lot of money from all these guys. There you go. Maybe we grab some like rock slimes over here too, right? Where are they at? And there's some uh, pink stuff. Oh, yeah, and, uh, more carrots right there. Wait, no, no. Man, I did the wrong button right there. Yeah, grab that back. I don't know if we're going to find any. Uh, Gold slimes or lucky slimes around here. And if so, yeah, remember, we can actually suction them up now. Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> you guys, literally right when I say that, suction them up. Oh, we got a gold slime right there. Don't mind if I do. Holy heck. I didn't think we'd actually be able to. I thought he was going to like escape before we'd be able to do that. That was amazing. And hey, we have the uh, the, the firefly, firefly slimes. What are these guys called again? I forgot. Man, we need to watch out for those guys when we actually uh, have them at the corral, right? 
Actually, hold on. So if I have a gold slime, how do, can I put them in a corral and feed them and get gold slime? I, I, I don't know. I, I haven't I haven't looked too much into these mods I installed. I guess we'll just have to myth bust and see what happens next, right? But let's just go sell all the pink slimes over here. And I do believe if we want to sell the gold slime, we could probably get some good money out of that. I don't know if we'll actually would end up doing that, but it seems like he's going to be a little bit more valuable if we just keep him and uh, maybe get a bunch of plorts out of him, right? But let's see if I wanted to sell. The, yeah. OK, so we can get twenty seven hundred gold by selling the gold slime. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I think I'm going to keep them right. But uh, gold plort. Yeah, three hundred sixty from the gold plort. Don't want to don't want to get rid of that. And wait, why are they? Oh, man, these are like the gem uh, plorts that are on the market right there. I didn't think it'd be able to display that, but it is. That's pretty cool. Anyways, sell the pink slimes for 42 a piece. It's currently yeah, it's a few hours until the plort market resets. So, yeah, I get some money out of that. 820 right now. Yeah, let's go buy another corral over here. And uh, there you go. Corral. Let's get that going. How do I want to upgrade this miniaturizer slime sprinkler? Regularly sprinkles the slimes with in the corral with water. What would that do? I get. I guess if there's any tars that might like come into here, we could always that that kills the tars, right? So I guess that's one reason why you want the slime sprinkler to kill any tars that may get near your slimes. I, I guess so. Then of course high walls over here for 350. Maybe we can get that. Hmm. Internal garden. I, I'm still very curious about that. And then port pro, port protector <laughs> prevents slimes within the corral from eating ports while the battery is charged. So, hmm. I, I think I might just get high walls here. And then maybe a solar or a air net port collector, auto feeder. Yeah, there's a lot of regular uh, built-in thing like these over here are built into the game already. High walls, but these over here are the modded ones. So those are pretty interesting to look at. And of course, that's a thousand right there. I don't know if I want to get that just yet. Miniaturizer 15. You know, that's pretty interesting too. Maybe we'll just get high walls for right now. Yeah, actually, you know what? Maybe we'll get that for the Largos. Over oh, wait, what happened here? Oh, the uh, I, I think the escaped tabby slimes like somehow got into here for some strange reason. So if they eat that plot right there, they'll turn into a uh, another pink tabby Largo. So that's going to be pretty good. Well, they're eating the pogo fruit. I thought they were able to eat only chickens, but they oh, no, no, no. Yeah, remember the tabby ones are able to steal things. So he technically stole the pogo fruit right there. OK, cool. So if we get the gold slime, and put them in here. What, what can we do? Oh, yeah, I have to give him gilded ginger. I forgot about that. OK, yeah, let me let me grab him back. Let me keep him. I don't know what to do with them because you can only get the gilded ginger in that one specific area. Uh, I forgot what it was called. Uh, let's look at the big map here. Was it this big area? I forgot what it was called, though, but oh, wait, no, not this. Was it this? I don't think it was, right? Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, we can zoom out a little bit here, too. Yeah, I, th I think it was only this area. Yeah, 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 I remember now. Yeah, but they were super rare to find them there. I don't know if we have any mods where. Oh, yeah, actually, I think it was. I think there was a mod where you're able to grow gilded ginger. Maybe I'll install that for next episode. That'd be pretty good, you guys. I'm, j I'm just very curious. Is this guy able to stay in here? Because usually the gold slimes are able to run away and stuff like that. I, I guess we can keep them there, but kind of want to maybe just keep them in our inventory for right now until we actually get the gilded gingers and we're able to get some uh, get some farms going for them. Right. But let's make it as such. We do have 570. I guess we'll get some farms going over here. So we'll get a uh, garden. There you go. Put a garden down right there. And uh, I guess we'll get another garden right here. Or maybe, you know what? Let's get the chicken coop. There you go. Uh, yeah, let's get the chicken coop right here. Yep, there you go. Cool. So let's go get the uh, the chicken coop or the chickens. I don't think there are any chickens right now. I think the chickens that were here, we already fed to the tabby slime. So that's unfortunate. Let's get the uh, the garden going over here, though. So uh, nutrient soil. Yeah, I don't want to do that just yet. Yeah, see, there's supposed to be a thing like this, I guess, for, for, for this internal garden thing. But it doesn't add a garden to the ground. I don't know where that is. Unless it's this? And no, I'm pretty sure those are just the carrots I threw in there previously. But either way, let's just go over here. Let's go throw, I don't know, let's put carrots in here. That should be fine. Yeah, so now we're growing carrots inside of here. Uh, we don't have any upgrades, though, so it's not going to grow like super fast or anything like that or grow very abundant amount of carrots. So might have to wait until we actually get a bunch more like that, right? But gold slime, I don't know. I'm very hesitant to do anything about him because if I if I put him over here and he'll eventually like starve or whatever because he won't have any uh, gilded gingers to eat. So maybe I'll just keep him in my inventory or I don't know if I'm able to put the slimes inside of a silo or anything like that, like a storage silo just yet. Let's see, how much does that cost? 450. OK, well, I'm going to go grab some more slimes and put them in and sell them. Actually, you know what? Yeah, 
Uh, let's just give these guys a bunch of fruit right now, just because I have nothing else to do with all this, right? So there you go. And of course, they could do the same thing with these tabby largos over here. Tabby uh, pink largos, because they could eat anything. So there you go. I'll keep the gold slime in my inventory, though. But let's go grab, I, I guess, a bunch of pink slimes, a bunch of rock slimes. Any other slimes I may find? Oh, oh, oh yeah, hold on. Which ones are these again? Phosphor slime. That's what it was. I don't know why I couldn't remember their name. <laughs> there you go. Let's grab these guys. And of course, we if, if we want to have a corral for these guys, we need to have like that uh, like that shade or whatever for the corral, which is going to be a little bit more expensive. So don't want to do that just yet. Uh, you know, otherwise they'll just like disappear in the morning time, right? So just grab a bunch of pink slimes, a bunch of phosphor slimes, and of course rock slimes and anything else. I guess we'll just sell them on the market and try and get as much money as possible, right? Let's just go over here. Oh, whoa, whoa, what is that? Rock gold Largo, what in the, oh, and there's gold plorts over here? I think that was a gold plort, you guys, hold on. Hold on, get rid of the pink slime. Okay, we don't need these. Let me get that gold plort right there. Yeah, look at that gold plort. What? How did he eat? Oh, wait. Oh. <gasps> I think, oh my gosh, I'm getting killed. Hold on, so if I feed, what are the rock, uh, rock slimes eat again? I forget, man. Ah, but hold on, hold on. This guy eats fruit and vegetable. Okay, so I need to give him either a fruit or a vegetable. And then, oh man, there's a tar right there. Well, we don't have the upgrade to, to shoot water right now, right? Yeah, I don't think so. So now the tars are eating all these guys, whoops. Well, I'm out of there, Ada, let's just go back home. <laughs> Let's just go back home, and I guess we'll put the uh, the rock gold Largo inside of one of the corrals that I guess the one empty corral And then we'll feed him. I don't know carrots or pogo fruit or something like that And there's that hologram thing right there, <laughs> and I don't know I, I guess we'll just sell the phosphorus I don't know how much money we're gonna get out of them But I guess we'll go check them on the market and see how much money we'll get But let's go over here. Let's go place down the rock gold Largo and apparently this one would eat either gilded gingers and yeah, okay, vegetables and gilded ginger. So we'll get some good money. Let's grab the carrots. Let's grab these. Feed him and get some money. Because remember, every time he eats... Oh, well, he doesn't want... He's full on uh, happiness right now. He's got a big gaping mouth right now, so... Yeah, he's not going to eat right now. Man! Oh, wait, no. Oh, he's going to run... Ah! He's going to try and kill me right there. <laughs> but look at how cool it looks, you guys. A gold... Uh, gold rock Largo? Or rock gold Largo? <laughs> I don't even need to get used to all these different combinations now that we have these mods installed, you guys. It's crazy. But if he does eat, we're going to get another gold plort and a rock plort. So that's going to be pretty cool, you guys. So anyways, speaking of uh, getting money and whatnot, right? Let's go over here. Let's go check on the market. How much are we going to get from selling a phosphor slime? Oh, 126. That's pretty good money, you guys. 126. And the market did indeed refresh. So we got 42 gold uh, beforehand for each pink slime. And now we're going to get 29. So yeah, it did go down there. But phosphor slimes, boom, getting a lot of money out of them right there, you guys. And I don't know. Do we want to gold slime? Yeah, I guess we could do the same thing here. We could feed the gold slime. Oh, how powerful would that be, you guys? A pink gold slime? Should I do that? Because these, these tabby slimes are over here going to start dying. Because they're not going to eat any I don't have any chickens for them to eat, so. Hmm. Actually, hold on. Yeah, let me grab you back up. And. Actually, you know what? Yeah, yeah. See, look at how. Oh, what? I was just about to say, look at how miserable they look. But yeah, th thankfully, it just ate a pink uh, port right there. And now they, they could eat anything. So that's good. And this one escaped. So we need to actually suction him up and put you back into there. So there you go. Yeah. I guess any uh, tabby slimes that we have. Yeah, we should turn them into these tabby pink largos over here, right? So yeah. Yep. Eat that. Eat that. Uh. Or hopefully they eat them and I'll get converted. That way they don't die, right? So that's going to be good. Oh man, they keep escaping. No. Okay, yeah. Well, we have the money now. Let's actually make this the uh, the tall. Where are we going to do that? High walls. There we go. Guess we'll do the same thing over there for that. So there we go. Just to make sure these guys do not escape. And let's do the same thing here. And high walls. There we go. Cool. Internal garden miniaturizer. Reduces the size. So I wonder what happens if we use the miniature. It's a lot of money. So would that make a Largo like the size of a regular slime? I don't know. I'm very curious about that. This guy, is he hungry yet? No, he's still got a big gaping open mouth. So he's not hungry just yet. But if we experiment around here and make another high wall one right here, place down the gold slime and then feed him a, a pink plort so we could technically eat anything. Is that going to be like the most OP thing in the game? There you go. Oh, what happened? He just gave me a plort for no reason. Hold on, eat that. Wait, why is he giving me these plorts? I'm not complaining. Is he going to eat that? I don't think he is. Oh, wait. It worked. Pink gold Largo, you guys. He could eat anything now. 
Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Well, he's he's very like, like, like hungry, I guess you could describe it as. Yeah, let's grab all the pogo fruit right here. Let's feed him. Oh my gosh, this is the most OP thing in the universe here, you guys. Give him a bunch of pogo fruit. Keep pelting him with pogo fruit. Eat, eat, eat. Yes, give me the pink and the gold plort. Bubba, we're going to get so much money, you guys. This is going to be crazy. Look at this. Man, well, this one needs vet. Oh, hey, look at that. He gave me a, a rock and a gold larga, right? Or a gold plort right there. Man, I need to get used to all these different terms and names and stuff like that, you guys. <laughs> Jeez. But look at this. This is a crazy first episode so far, you guys. We have two gold largos over here. And we're going to get so much money out of it. We have six gold plorts just right off the bat. That was crazy. That was like pure luck that we found gold uh, slime over there. We captured him. He ate something and made like a gold Largo and some other crazy stuff. It was insane. Anyways, 373 from each gold plort. Do not mind if I do. Actually, now I'm kind of curious. Yeah. Do I want to turn another? I think I will. Let's turn these. Let's, let's get another pink gold Largo over here. So you and then you eat a gold plort. You're going to, oh no, he, he's fully, he's fully, oh wait, no, he's going to eat it. Yes. So now we have two of them. Okay, cool. So we're going to get more money or, there you go. You guys better eat. Look at how crazy they look too. He's, he looks like a little water droplet, but he's gold. It's like melted gold. Oh my gosh. And they're leaving like gold trails behind him and everything too. You guys, it's crazy, man. We're going to be able to unlock those other expansions and stuff so quickly, you guys. It's going to be insane. Now, if if you guys remember the uh, the mods I have installed, there's like a splitter slime. If I got that and then got a splitter plort, I could feed it to... Oh, oh, look at the moon. Hold on. I just remember the moon has a face. Yeah, look at that. There's the eye right there. There's the mouth right there. You can't see the other eye. It's, it's on the other side of that cliff. But yeah, there's the moon up there. I completely forgot about that, you guys. But if we had a splitter plort and fed it to him, we can get a gold slime back and then we'd get a uh, rock slime. So that, I think that's how that works. And then I'm also curious about these expansions I mentioned. How expensive is this one? The Grotto 1795. I think that's the same price as the uh, other expansion over there. I think in our main playthrough, we actually unlocked this one first and then that one. I think we unlocked this one because I wanted to put the phosphorus slimes in there just so they didn't disappear during the uh, whenever it turned out daytime, right? And I think this one over here, isn't this like 10,000 or something like super expensive? Let me check. Yeah, 10,000 for the lab. Yeah, golly. I forgot when we finally unlocked that, but yeah, remember that's uh, where we could actually experiment around with, what was his name, like Victor or something like that? I forgot. I think that was his name. Victor something. Victor Humphreys, I think his name was, right? But either way, uh, pink plorts, rock plorts, I guess we could sell these. Oop, there you go. Get a little bit of money off them. Nothing too crazy, but yeah, we actually have enough money right now to actually unlock a... Uh, one of these expansions if we wanted to. And look at that. We actually have some carrots ready to go from our farm. That was actually pretty quick, you guys. I didn't think it was uh, able to work that quickly. But there you go. Might as well give our farm some upgrades over here. Maybe go find some chickens. Put them over here at the uh, the, the coop finally, right? So let's see. Nutrient soil. Nutrient soil contains compost from the moss blanket and minerals from the indigo quarry. Makes crops always yield the maximum harvest. Okay, so we're going to get more carrots out of this. And then the sprinkler right here. Makes them grow twice as fast. Okay, cool. Don't think we're going to need a scarce slime at least. I don't know, maybe we might want one because we're going to be experimenting around with a bunch of modded slimes so we're probably going to get some tars every now and then, right? So maybe it makes sense to get that eventually. But right now, maybe we'll get nutrient soil. There we go. And then we still, oh, we have a little bit less. I think it's 1750, right? Uh, oh wait, no, 1795. Yeah, we're not, we're just barely not able to afford that, unfortunately. Man, all right, well, these guys, oh man, another gold plort right there, they just ate. Anything else? Nothing? Nah, man. Well, this one over here, this one that eats the vegetables, and these guys could eat anything, so... You know what? I, I might have to get a plort collector in all these things, just because I'm going to be missing out on so many plorts if I don't have one, right? Uh, plort protector, plort collector. 500, yeah, let's get that going there. Get another one going over here for this one. Uh, plort collector, yes, 500 there. Boom. It's going to suction up all the plorts automatically, which is going to be great. Let's do the same thing over here. We have a little bit uh, more than enough money to get a plort collector over here. Awesome. And uh, how much is the auto feeder here? Oh, it's another 500. Man, uh, we might be able to do that with a pink plort, the tappy plort, and this one gold plort. Sell these real quick. There you go. Yeah, we can do it. Nice, 754. Okay, cool. So now we can have an auto feeder. So these guys are always going to be fed. So let's get that going over here. Purchase that auto feeder. Awesome. And now we can load up a bunch of pogo fruit or, or carrots or whatever into the. Uh, actually, hold on. Where is the auto? Oh, it's over here. 
Yeah, let's put a bunch of carrots in here. Oh, wait, no, that's the plort collector. Hold on. Here's the auto feeder. Yeah, that's the auto feeder right there. Okay, let's put a bunch of carrots in there just so they're always going to be fed. And because there's only two of them, I guess we'll put it on the turtle rating right there so it dispenses them out rather slowly, especially because there's already some pogo fruit in there, right? But over here, we do have the plort collector, right? Why is that not working? Hold on. Let's make that uh, suction up the plorts. There we go. So we have three or uh, seven tabby plorts and five pink plorts right there. Cool. All right, so this is going to be really good, you guys. Nice. So we have a pretty good setup right now. Uh, we have, uh, we could probably sell these plorts and be able to get another, uh, auto feeder for these guys or those guys. But I think we're fine right now. Let's actually grab these right here. No, maybe we'll, uh, you know what, maybe we'll sell these guys right here. We're gonna get a little bit of money. Yeah, 29 from each, uh, pink slime right there. 10 from each pink plort. And the tabby plort is 28. Not bad. All right, nice. We do have enough money now to do another upgrade if we wanted to. Uh, these guys would eat anything, so... So we can keep them nice and fed. Yeah, you know what? Let's give them the auto feeder too. So let's do that. There you go. Purchase the auto feeder. Because we'll put some poco fruit inside there, at least for right now. There you go. And we'll put that on the turtle rating again too. So there you go. Cool. All right. Nice. So, uh, yep. These guys are well fed. Any uh, plorts over here? Nope. No plorts just yet. Man. All right. Well, any uh, missions here? Nope. The range exchange is offline right now. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Anyways, I guess we'll go out, explore a little bit, see what else we could find real quick before we end off this pilot episode, and I can see what you guys think about the modded series so far. Because so far, it's a lot different from the main game, the main series that we played here on the channel. Because, like, look at, look at all the money we have. We have heckin' gold and, and, and it's pink like, Largos and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, there's this other section over here I wanted to go explore. Come on, can I do that without that jetpack upgrade? Oh, yeah, I can. Look at this. Okay, cool. So we have a treasure chest here. Oh, man, yeah, we need that upgrade for the, uh, we, we, we need to, ah, I forgot how we do it, like a 7Z rewards or whatever to unlock the treasure pot. I forgot about that, man. But I think that mod, oh, yeah, I think it only shows it whenever you, uh, open up the treasure pots. But I think that, like, how do I, uh, yeah, I don't think I'm able to place down a, a waypoint right here on, on my own if I wanted to. But I think that, uh, one of those mods actually shows, like, treasure pots on the map. But I think it only does it when you open them, which is kind of counterintuitive, if you ask me, right? But I think, isn't there a section, like, under here? Where there's like loot, yeah, like uh, right here. Here we are. Actually, I think it, it, I think it's like a purple one, isn't it? If I remember correctly, I think there's a purple treasure pod. Oh wait, no, we got uh, yeah, yeah. There's a purple one right there, yeah. And we have heartbeats over here too, but yeah, that's like the high tier one, right? Yeah, we don't have the, the thing for that, so that's kind of useless to us right now. But hey, look at that, we have some heartbeats right now, so we could actually grow those if we wanted to. It's going to be pretty good, you guys. But uh, let's try and get out of here without falling off the map. Loop, loop. Okay, nice. And whoop. oh man, this is a bigger jump. Oh, ow! Made it. Oh, made it. Yep, there you go. Nice. Isn't there a Largo over here? Oh, yeah, there is. I forgot about that. Yeah, look at this guy right here. I don't know if we have enough stuff here to feed him, though. Hold on. Let's grab that. Nothing else here. Yeah, I think he needs like a pretty good amount of like 25 of anything because he's a pink one, right? So, yeah, we don't have that. Oh, wait, we have a skin thing right here, though. Hold on. What is this one for? Let's go and change the skin of uh. Oh, now we have pink. Sparkly pink ones. Okay, and I believe that uh, one of those mods actually made it where the Gordos have the same sparkly skin too. Cool. So if I wanted to change them to be regular ones, this one would change to a regular uh, pink uh, Gordo as well. So that's pretty cool, you guys. Nice. So now we have pink, uh, sparkly pink slimes. <laughs> I can always change that whenever I want to, but I think we want to keep it as the sparkly pink slimes because they're pretty cool. But over here, yeah, we have the tabby. Oh yeah, here are the chickens. Let's grab the chickens. We finally need, yeah, there you go. So we have one hen hen and one chickadoo. Let's grab the, another hen hen. There you go, cool. And I, be I believe we need a roostro too. Uh, chickadoo, yeah, let's get rid of you. Yep, just throw you out like a piece of trash, right? <laughs> Any other uh, like golds? Oh no, was that a roostro you ate right there? I think it was, man. Ah, yeah, I don't think there are any more chickens around here. I need to keep, oh wait. Oh, that's just a regular slime that just spawned out right there, man. I think over here are the uh, phosphor slimes, right? Oh, oh yep, yep, phosphor slimes, and they're angry, they're feral, so I need to be careful with them. <laughs> yeah, let's just leave, at least right now. Oh, wait, oh, yes, the regular. Oh, wait, no, there's a tar, get out of here. Oh, get out of here. New Slimepedia entry, the tars. Let's get them out of here. Lip, because we do not have the water, like, sprayer just yet. So let's just, oh, wait, are they still here? I thought I got rid of all of them. Give me that hen hen. There you go. Now we have four hen hens. Still no roostros though, unfortunately. Man. Yeah, no roostros up here. Golly. Yeah, I don't know where they're at. Pretty sure there was one roostro and then one of the slimes just had to eat them right in front of me. Oh! Either you just changed like right in front of me too. <laughs> oh wait, what is this? What's this little icon here? What's this do? Oh, 
Oh! Oh yeah, look at that! Okay, so the mod does work. I guess it only works when you have the whole entire area discovered here. Okay, cool. So, it does show that there is a green treasure pod there and a purple one there. And then it shows that there is a skin pod over here and a Gordo, but I think it showed the Gordos in the vanilla game, the base game, without mods, right? So, that's pretty cool that it's showing all this cool stuff here. Nice! Map data acquired. Discover map data across the range to uncover more of your map. Uh, M to access your map. Yeah, we know that already. But, yeah, no, no other gold stuff there, unfortunately. Man, no. Oh, wait, yeah, we can get roosters from the other location over here, right? Uh, now it wants me to open up the map. There you go. Okay, now that, that thing got a green check mark, so that's good. Uh, but I do believe over here should have more chickens, right? Or hen hens. And hopefully a rooster. Let's see if there are any more that's going. Oh, oh, what's back, back there? Is there a gold slime that spawned back there? Oh, I thought there was. Man, I keep seeing gold slimes when they're none. Uh, any hen? Oh, okay, yeah, see, there's a nest right there. Are there no actual roostros or anything like that? They probably already gotten eaten. Man. Yeah. The, the coop isn't going to be any good with just regular hen hens. We need roostros too, but... Maybe we'll, maybe next episode... Oh, well, yeah, there's another one right here, but there's no... Yeah, no roostros once again. Man. All right, well, I guess we'll just take the four hen hens back. Oh! Oh, yeah, I didn't even look at the star mail that we got from Casey. We got one right there from Thora West, which, if I remember correctly, isn't she the wife of... This guy, I forgot what this guy's actual full name was. Uh, where is it? Hobson. I think she was. And I don't know if that's going to be a spoiler or whatever, but <laughs> if you guys are watching this series, hopefully you watch the uh, the regular series by now, right? But either way, let's put the hen hens over here at the coop. Loop. There you go. All right. And yeah, we're, we're definitely going to need a uh, and then high wall spring grass attracts scuttlebugs that chickens love to eat. Okay, the hens will produce eggs twice as fast. But yeah, I'm like, the eggs aren't going to happen unless we have a rooster, right? So, I don't, I don't think we're going to do any upgrades just yet. Maybe a little bit later. Uh, we have, oh yeah, we don't have any money at all. We have 88 and that's it. So we can't get any more upgrades, even if I wanted to, right? So, that kind of sucks. I guess we'll sell the uh, 10 sparkly slimes and get like, what, 29 from each one? Yeah, 20, so we're going to get 290. Nope, there you go. Get a little bit of money out of that. Then the heartbeats, I guess we'll just keep that in our inventory for right now, right? Let's go check up on the gold uh, pink slimes. If we have any, uh, oh, yeah, we have one gold plort right there. Awesome. And we even got a rot plort, too. Anything else over here? Oh, two gold plorts. Nice. And two pink, uh, pink sparkly plorts. Man, I need to get used to I'm going to stumble over my words like crazy for this game, you guys, just like in the first playthrough, right? We'll sell all the gold plorts and sell all the other plorts. And now we're up to 1547. Pretty good money right there, you guys, especially for the first episode, which I guess is going to be a great place for us to leave off. And it looks like we do have a mission ready, so maybe we'll save that for next episode as well, you guys. But anyways, I guess we'll just end off the video right here. So thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Slime Rancher Modded comes out. If a lot of you guys do indeed want me to turn it into a full on series, because remember, this is just a pilot episode. So we're just testing the water, seeing what the game is like with mods. And if you guys enjoyed what you saw today, be sure to let me know in those comments down below by leaving a positive comment about Slime Rancher modded or by leaving a like on the video. And if I see a really positive response to today's pilot episode, I'll definitely have to do more episodes of Slime Rancher with mods. And of course, if you guys have any suggestions about the mods I currently have installed, if you guys want me to install other mods or uninstall any mods I currently have, be sure to let me know in those comments down below and I'll definitely adjust the mods next episode according to what you guys have to say in those comments. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more awesome videos. Oh, bye there. Whoa!